Thanks for finding Like a Hawk. Hope the weekend was well for all of you. Today I'm going to be doing a Hawk to the Rescue. If you're unfamiliar with Hawk to the Rescues, those are when a fellow collector is going for trying to complete a base set and they just need a little help to get those final cards that they need to complete the set. Uh, now this one's a little more special because this is someone I see in real life. So he, he also wrote a letter, so we'll get to the letter right now. So here we go. So we got Hawk, thanks for all of your generosity. I look forward to our conversations, especially the show and tell part. So whenever uh, he or I have anything on eBay that we buy, we show off to each other. So that's, that's fun to show off that stuff. Uh, to have someone to discuss it with in person is wonderful, let alone someone who has the same interest within the industry. Now on to the goodies. The clear case contains standard Cubs and player, Cowboys players. I put what I think are the interesting cards in the tin. So that's going to be saved for a mail day. He was generous to, to give that stuff. Um, I know we discussed a hawk to the rescue and the difficulty in pulling the needed cards. I was wondering if perhaps anyone in your community has the cards and would want to trade. A couple of them are readily available on eBay, but I'd rather try the schoolyard first. So the set we are going for today is 2006 Tops 52. And these are the four cards needed out of the set. And I believe the checklist is around 300. So we're looking for only four cards. Uh, thanks for everything, Russ. So Russ is who we're helping out here today. So we're looking for those four cards. And the product is going to be Tops 52 Rookie Cards, uh, 2006 Rookies 52 Edition. Now the cool thing about this is, this is why it's called the 52 Edition, is because all the cards look like the 52 Tops, and they do have some Mantle ones in here as well. Also, we're going to get three autographs per box, and here are some of the names that you can get out of the autographs. So you can see that there is a Pujols, an Alex Rodriguez, Chipper Jones, David Ortiz, Manny Ramirez, uh, then we start going Justin Verlander, uh, and then we start going downhill in terms of who you might recognize. So those are, we get three of those autos, but more importantly, um, we're going to get 20 packs per box, eight cards per pack, but we are looking to help Russ try to complete his set. While I open this, and just can tell you a little bit more, I believe he said this was the first set that he's ever tried to complete. And because of that, I feel that it's extra important to try to help out a collector complete the first set. I remember when I was collecting as a kid, go into the hobby shop with checklists and be disappointed if you know I was getting close to the end and they, you know, they were missing one or two. Because at that time you couldn't go on eBay and buy the rest of them. You just had to buy more packs or, or go, go into the, uh, like a Venture or Kmart and then look at the rack packs and see if your guy is on the top that you can buy the one you need from. So here's the checklist has the nice 52. So we are looking at a 312 base set with a lot of different, there's chrome parallels, there are autograph cards, there's relic cards, there's inset cards. So we are just going to head, go ahead and open it up. Liked how this looks. So they kind of broke it up there on two different sides. Like the design, very cool. So we are going to pull all of these out and we'll kind of do the cards Stacked with either side. Okay. Put those out there. All right. So that is what we are going for today. All right. Let's start to open this up. So we're looking for the two Rogers, Guillermo, and then the Matt Kane logo variation, which I guess is going to be a short print. So we'll have to see how we do with those. So this is what the base card is going to look like. So there's that 52 design. Again, these are from 2006, so you may not recognize all the names here. And that's what the backs of those look like. So I just want to show those off. But, uh, okay, so here we go. Um, again, so it's kind of a, so there's a Ryan Zimmerman. I think you heard of him, rookie card. So that's a nice hit right there. Brian Wilson. So I guess the logo variation, there's going to be something different within that box right there if we hit it. So our first one, we get a chrome card off the bat. This is a Mark Lowe chrome card. Almost like the chrome that's in Heritage um, right now. And that is numbered out of 1952, 199 out of 1952. So that's kind of cool. So yeah, it looks exactly like the ones that are out of Heritage nowadays. So I wonder if this was the precursor uh, to that. Got a Nick Marquesis, Marquecas. I think you've heard of him. Easy for me to say. On the Orioles at that time. And then Stockman and Barzilla. So no hits yet for the Hawk to the Rescue. Again, this is going to be the most difficult Hawk to the Rescue that I've had. So hopefully we'll hit at least, I'm hoping for half. So Tony Pena. 
AJ Bone, Sean Markham. There we go. Uh, dynamic duos, England and Marte. That would have been a cool card back in the day to get. And there's how the back of that looks like. Uh, O'Connor, Jordan Tata, and Jonathan Broxton. There's a rookie. I think he, he had a he was a good good uh, reliever for the Dodgers for a little bit there. All right. Himmelick, Bobby Keppel, Brandon Watson. And it's kind of pixely. That's really I don't know, that's kind of an awful shot right there. It doesn't look as bad. In person, it looks kind of bad because it's stuff. I don't know. Um, Eric Eibar. All right, so this is Matt Kane. I don't know if this is going to be the SP. This could be one of the cards right off the bat. I'm going to have to look and see if this is the logo variation for Matt Kane. If it is, this is probably going to be the hardest one of those that to pull. So I'm hoping that's going to be the logo variation, but we'll see. Uh, Prince Fielder. So, yeah, Prince Fielder back in the day, rookie card. Abercrombie, uh, no Fitch right there, so we do have the Paulino. So that Matt Kane right off the bat, I'm hoping that's the SP. But we will see. Um, oh, nice. So they have some of these that are kind of the different vertical and, and uh, horizontal, so the different parallels that we have here for that. Got a... Ailey Soler, Adam Lowen, Zach Miner. Got another Chrome. That's not bad. Again, it's out of 52. 906 out of 52. Very cool. Josh Wilson is looking like, you can fire whatever you want me, I'm going to catch it. Right there. Nodlin and Kenji. Ah, oh, okay. I thought he was supposed to be pretty good, and I don't know if it ever panned out for Kenji. But um, there it is right there. Wow, sitting on the, the bench at the Wrigley Field, Ryan O'Malley right there. Kaplan, Tashner, Breslow, Dynamic Duels. This is Millage and John Main. Got a Saul Rivera, Ramirez, and Jorgensen. Nothing there. Nobody I recognize from that. I don't know. Tell me what you think in the comments about the set. Stephen Drew, you've heard of him before. Um, I kind of like how this set is. I kind of even wish that they'd been doing this. Um, I guess it would kind of, if it keeps doing the 52, here's another chrome of Eric Reed. This is out of, this is out of 552. So I think this is going to be like that rainbow parallelish instead of the other ones that are kind of like the other, the, um, just the base chrome. We got Bayless, Gall, Zumaya. Zumaya, you heard of before? Let me know what you think about the design. What do you think about the set? Uh, do you like how it looks? Do you wish that they would do this more often just for the rookies? Uh, yeah, let me know. So I thought this was kind of a cool way back um, break as well. There's Dynamic Duel, Billings, Lee, wow, and Broxton. Yeah, those were two pitchers for the Dodgers that were supposed to be great. Broxton, uh, Billings, Lee, I don't think really panned out too much. Um, and then, like I was talking about Broxton, um, good reliever for a while. Just, um, yeah, so we got Brian Anderson, decent re uh, outfielder for the White Sox. Kevin Thompson, Willie Air, Brian Sweeney. So there's our first autograph. Wow, so they, they kind of forced the person back in there. Anthony LaRue, on card auto. So that's what the autographs are going to look like. Uh, so they do have the AL and then the little. Uh, hologram right there. So that's kind of cool for a autograph. That's not bad how they do it. All right, so we got Kevin Barry, Kevin Reese, and McBride. Next pack. Willie Abar, Wes Littleton, Walter Young, Val Majewski, Nice. So Mickey Mantle, I was hoping to pull one of these. So this is a Mickey Mantle. This is just going to be the regular card, I believe, of this. But there's the back of it, and it's just beautiful. Uh, this is going to be the red, because I guess the, um, you know, it's it's not red in, in real life. I believe it's blue. So I was hoping to pull one of those Mickey Mantles. So now that's out of the way. Russell Martin, a good, he was a good uh, catching prospect for a while. Nate McLuth. Hoping to get maybe a mantle chrome. Um, that would be really cool. Okay. 
We got Jason Windsor, Corey Morris, Bill Bray. Wow, look at his signature. That's just a big scribble right there. Okay, so we got a uh, Ivan Rodriguez, tops 52. Now it doesn't say rookie up there, so this is going to be DF20. This is going to be a subset, a real insert set. So Ivan Rodriguez, shout out to Victor Negron. Might send it his way. Um, because I believe he collects, uh, he, I know he collects the Von Arigas. I sent him some stuff, the Puerto Rican collection. And I think that'd be kind of cool. I don't know if he's ever seen that card before or if he has it. So I have to start a pile for Victor now. Okay, so we got another chrome there. Mark Woodard, Roop, Thorman, Montero. All right, David Ardsma, it's a Cub. It's, it looks like it's the standard chrome card right here. So that's going to be out in 1952, 539 on 1952. Right there. Andrew Brown, uh, Angel Pagan, and Animal Sanchez. So yeah, he was he was up and down. He was supposed to be really good. I think he's still hanging around the, the uh, majors. Um, he just he, I would say he's a great third third starter. Um, he had a lot of talent. He just seemed like he was just giving up a lot of big hits and walks, and he just never put it fully together. But we got a, a Drew. Drew Meyer, Ortmeyer, Connor Jackson, Ionetta was a good guy there. All right, we have a Pujols, which again, it's going to be one of those, that set, that DF3. So there is the Pujols. That's pretty cool for Cardinals fan out there. Looks very nice. Booker, Barnwell, and Choo Choo, Choo Freeman right there. Still looking, I think, for the, the Rogers cards. I don't think I've seen the Rogers ones pop up. Could miss it. We'll always go back, stop the tape, and see what we get. Alexis Gomez. Francisco Liriano. Wow, he was good for a little bit there for a rookie card. That's nice. Fernando. Got a Kenny Ray upside down. Nice. Okay, so we got an Angel Pagan Cubs autograph right there. Not the biggest autograph, but that's fun to get a, a Cub. Cubs one. And there's the back of that. So that's two of our three autographs. Brandon Fahey, Brendan Harris, Tankersley. Carlos Ruiz, Coulter Bean. Wow, I wonder if Jason knows him. Matt Elbers, Martin Prado. Here's Dynamic Duels. Cole Hamels, nice, from Top 52. So Cole Hamels as a young pitcher right there. Have to send that to Gary S. Brian Bannister, Tony Gwynn Jr. That's nice right there. Rookie card. And Travis Isha Kawal. Kawa. Getting ready for opening day. It's coming up in just a matter of days. And another good reason about the opening. Oh, there's Dan Ugla. Nice. Um, another good reason about the opening day set is now everybody knows what the opening day set uh, date is because they put it on those. It was the um, March 28th. So uh, there's a Chrome version. Of that one, that's 1952, 1863 out of 1952. Don't think I've heard of him before, but that's very cool. I like the autograph down there. Taubenheim, Will Nieves, and the caster. Five more packs. Again, still looking for the Rogers. So hopefully good luck to all your teams this year. Um, I know if you're an Orioles fan, it's going to be pretty hard to cheer for them. Mike Napoli, Howie Kendrick, that's nice. Sean Green, Ryan Sheely, Ryan Roberts. Matt Olson, there's already some injuries, especially if you're um, playing fantasy. Matt Olson is going to be out for a little bit. Um, and then Aaron Hicks is going to be out. Jason and I were talking about that. Andre Ethier, that's nice. Uh, Davis, Rafael Perez, and Jackson. So Aaron Hicks is supposed to be out. It looks like they might carry Bird and Voigt. And then I guess it just depends on who's going to do the best throughout the year in terms of who's going to get that first base jobs for the Yankees. For fantasy, that should be a pretty good, wow, he's a big guy, Chris Britton. The first uh, first base for the Yankees should be pretty good. Uh, and then our last uh, auto, it's going to be Eric Abar right there. There's the back of that. So unfortunately, none of the big ones. was hoping to maybe get one of the big... Um, Big autos, but again, that's probably going to be very hard to pull out of there. 
And I don't think, again, still looking for those Rogers cards. We only got two packs left, so let's see how we're going to do here. We have a Brian Corey. Then we have a David Wright. Uh, this is going to be the insert because it does not say the rookie card up on top. And again, it's DF12 for Mets fans. Peter Moylan, Mike Vento. And then last pack, so hopefully we'll pull one or two of those out of the last pack. So Jason Childers, James Loney, heard of him before. Jason Hamill, Sean Marshall, yeah, he was, uh, he was a little good for a little bit. We got a, oh nice, Johnny Damon, and this is just one of the, yeah, so this, I didn't know what they did with the parallels. So this is a chrome of those parallels at DF, 1952 out of 1305, Johnny Damon. Royals fans right there, that's a pretty cool looking card. That's nice. Tyler Johnson, uh, Grizzly and Ship Schumacher. So we're going to look through our base cards, and we are going to see how we do. I'll be right back. All right, so we got some good news, bad news. So I always like to do the bad news first. So the bad news is we only got one of the cards off of Russ's list right here. The good news is it was the most expensive card on the list. We got the Matt Kane logo variation. So... This logo is from the 1952 logo. You, I only got one variation of this entire box, and it was the one he needed, the Matt Cain uh, variation. There, I believe there's 13 variations, um, and you either have the, like the, this would be what they have nowadays, the logo nowadays, but then it would have the Brewers 52. So this is the Matt Cain variation. I believe Russ kept saying that this card was about 20 bucks on eBay. So this is going to Russ. So that is card number one off the list. Unfortunately, I still am missing the last three. The Gilmere, uh, Hilermo, uh, Curez, I haven't heard of him, Brian Rogers and Ed Rogers. So if anybody has card 279, 283, 284, please let me know, reach out to me in the comments. I will gladly trade for those so they can help Russ complete his first set. Um, if I don't hear from anybody, I will look on eBay and see if we can get those last three for him uh, so that he can finally completes his very first set of all time for him so but we did pull the big one the big one was the Matt Cain that was about 20 bucks so that saves him that and it's nice to feel that I got out of the one variation in the entire box I got the one that he needed so that's pretty cool um, again as well in terms of the variations, so there are Mickey Mantle variations so as I said remember the regular card is blue background so they have I believe five or six different variations of this where they just change the background color of Mickey Mantle and this one happens to be the Mickey Mantle red so there are going to be different variations of the Mickey Mantle card. So I thought that's kind of cool to get something like this. Uh, I don't know if you get one of these in every box. I don't know if, how lucky we were to get this one. So I thought that was pretty cool. Um, with the Chrome, I know it's going long, so I'm not going to go into a recap. But I thought it was a pretty solid break. A lot of fun break. You can get boxes of this on eBay if you really like what you saw. And I hope you do let me know. Let me know what autographs you pull. And, uh, yeah, thanks for watching. I think it was a pretty nice. A Hawk to the Rescue, again, we didn't get half like I wanted, but we got the most expensive card out of the ones that he needed. So I think it's probably a win. I appreciate you checking out this video. Like, subscribe, tell me about your hits in the comments. I will tell everybody about those in the next Just the Hits video. And, of course, their social media at Like a Hawk Cards, all one word. Hope you had a lot of luck in your next break, and thanks for watching Like a Hawk.